Alright, you guys, I followed the trend. I hopped on the wave. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Kelly. Let me back at it again with the video. And as you guys can tell by the title, today I'll be doing my current favorites. They're all right here on the bed with me. By the way, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my setup, honestly. Like, I feel like this is okay for now, you know, because, like, you don't really need a fancy, fancy setup. And I kind of like sitting on the side just because, I don't know, I feel like it's better than just being directly in the middle. I feel like it's awkward when in the middle. So that's why I sit on this side. But if you guys want me to change up my setup, let me know. Um, and I might look into getting a backdrop or a green screen or something like that. Whatever makes you guys happy. So first off, I want to show off this necklace. I got this from actually my friends. They're African and they got some goods from straight from Africa. And we saw them at my school. Um, should I enclose? If you look hard enough on my Instagram, you'll know where to get this. Yeah. So. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, I have different items. I have an electronic. I have perfume, face, all this face stuff, things like that. So this is going to be a little random now first of all let's talk about this hair you guys let's talk about this hair my friend she did my hair you guys and it's honestly the cutest hair so i feel like i've ever had in my whole life i'll let you guys get a closer look at it in this little video or whatever just a cute little bob you know you can wear different hairstyles i post some different pictures of me and what i look like with different hairstyles but honestly favorite hairstyle overall in my whole life and I probably will be getting this hairstyle again. So thank you, shout out to Grace, for doing my hair. I love you, boo. I love you, boo. I should just turn 22. So say happy birthday in the comments for my girl. And I'll let her know that you guys said it. Now, my next favorite, I haven't had this for that long. But um, it's super cute. And I've been using it every day ever since I bought it. And it's just Coach Purse. It's in the color Flaxseed. I'm not sure if that's the name of this whole thing, though. But it's just a little wristlet and on the inside it has like pockets or whatever you know for cards and then a big pocket here and it's just so cute it's my favorite color it goes with my fit today i feel like it goes with a lot of things even though this isn't a bright yellow for the spring it's perfect for the fall but i'm using it all year round because sis i got that okay it's fine i'm using it when i want to but also by the way go to an outlet to buy things like this i paid 30 dollars for it it was on sale it was originally 117 it was 75% off, so I recommend if you ever want anything like this, buy it from an Alice store, because why would you pay $100 for a wand? I don't, I don't understand that. But, yeah. The next little random thing, AirPods. Yes, you guys, I followed the trend. I hopped on the wave. Not because everybody else had it, but honestly, these work out for me. I really do not like the wires. I hate the fact that I have a 7 and I can't plug them in like a regular headphone. That throws me off when I can't charge and plug in my phone at the same time. But I got these babies. These are the second ones that came out. I guess the official ones. And I love them to death. They're not in here. Hold on. By the way, if you guys want links to where I got everything from, let me know. I can put them down below. But this is my case. My new favorite color is yellow. So I got the color yellow. And that's just my pause. But honestly, I really do like these. I feel like they're definitely worth the price. If you always use headphones, always listen to music, always FaceTime, always call people, always use Siri, I recommend you buy these. So I think they're definitely worth it. If you guys want a more in-depth video on my AirPods, let me know and ask me questions down below what you want to know about them. Now my next one is my favorite perfume. Your girl got the Victoria's Secrets Bare Vanilla Fragrance Mist. As you can tell, compared to my other favorite, I've used a lot more. Recently I've been using this because it's the springtime, so I feel like it's a good time to use things that are like sweet and like honey-like or whatever in that area. And this is vanilla, and that's my favorite scent like in general when it comes to anything. So I have been using this over Pure Seduction, which is my signature scent. So that tells you a lot. This smells so good. So if you were to get any Victoria's Secret perfume, get barely vanilla, because you'll be smelling good all year round, like for real, for real. Yeah. Are you heavy? Yeah. I was talking to myself. Too much I'm on my way. I'm almost done. I need nope. Because you know, we shop at it out here. <laughs> Alright, so my next favorites are my face. Well, skincare, really. So, this is the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector. It's a chemical exfoliator. I use this every single night. People are always like, What do you use your skin to get it so clear? Da, 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 da. I'll show you a video of my clear skin right here. I've been using this every night to clean my face. I use my makeup wipe and then I use this and then I go in with my cleanser that I or whatever I use. And this is what it looks like. This, I guess, is considered high end because it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. 
like I haven't used that I mean I don't know what I'm talking about but I've been using this for a while and as you can tell I've used all of this right here every single day it's been a couple months so it's worth that I just use a cotton pad one you only need one spray rub your face it all comes off now my next two skincare products are these two L Plus. Um, this is the Glow Radiant Moisturizer. This is the Matte Oil Control Lotion. When I want to be dewy, I use this one. When I want to be matte, I use this one. My makeup lasts all day regardless. I use this by itself sometimes. Both of them actually. When I want to be glowy or matte, and these honestly they're worth. They're like so good. They should honestly like I would pay more for these two products because they're cheap because they're Elf. So like you know. It's like, we wouldn't think it would be good, but like, it's really good. Y'all sleeping on Elf. Y'all really sleeping on Elf, for real, for real. Nothing left to say, like, period. 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 Yeah. Period. 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 Now, my next two products, these are more makeup related, is the Elf Plus Matte Blotting Mist. I use this combined with like the matte controlling lotion and then I'll use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is also my favorite primer right now. My makeup lasts all day. Today, I didn't use the matte lotion because I wanted it to be a little dewy like I wanted it to be matte in the morning and then dewy so I didn't even spray this actually I just used this today with some Fenty um powder and of course my Fenty foundation and the rest of my makeup but honestly these two really nice face products as well as the other two and my makeup lasts all day regardless of what I'm using so you guys please don't sleep on e.l.f. because you can tell most of these products are from e.l.f. and they're really good and they're very affordable drugstore so if you've got a little budget I highly recommend you go check out e.l.f. skincare line and their face Line. So while we're talking about face, I'm going to go to my favorite foundation at the moment. It is this Fenty foundation. I am in the shade 385. I wore it today, as like I told you guys, I only wore it with the primer and a few powders from like my contour and my highlighting powder. So it's a little dewy because I've been using it all day. Like I've used it ever since I think 10 this morning or so, something like that. And it's 503, so it still looks pretty good to me, you know. It's not that bad, but... It stays matte now if you have oily skin this will help your skin stay matte all day like it traps all the oils like it's such a good product honestly like not even gonna lie to you. like when people rant about or no when people go on about fancy they're not lying to you it's definitely worth the price so I highly recommend if you're gonna get any foundation from the high-end store like Sephora go to Fenty now my next favorite product is my Milani highlighter this is in the shade strobe light 04 it looks like this look how gorgeous you guys I'll do a little swatch for you guys. I'm wearing it today, but because my face is oily, it's a little hard to tell. But, I don't know if you guys, can you guys even see? I don't know what you guys can see. I'll do another swatch. But that's the shade right there. And it's so pretty for my skin color personally. So, if you guys have a skin color close to mine, or even if you don't, it's really pretty on everybody. I honestly feel like a gold highlighter. So, this is affordable by the way. Get it at Walgreens, Ulta. I mean, just a drugstore, so I'll get it from anywhere at a drugstore. My next favorite product is this LA Girl Pro Conceal. This will always be a holy girl. I've used probably 10 or 15 of them already in my whole life. They're not all finished. A few may be finished, but this right here helps me with brows. She helps me under my eyes. She helps me on my spots. It's amazing, and it's only like $3. Three dollars, you guys. Three dollars. So if you need a concealer, go for this one. There's no point in buying expensive ones unless you get coins like that. Me personally, I don't. I'm in college, so... You know, we broke out here. My next favorite product, I don't know where the one that's open is, but it's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in the shade Clear. Favorite lash glue overall. It's so good. It lasts all day. And when you first apply it, it dries pretty quick to a clear. So, you know, you have a little bit of time to put them on, but right when you do, it stays on forever, like all day until you take them off. So, if you need a lash glue, go get this from Walmart for like $3. And last but not least, I have my favorite lip product, and it is this lip gloss from the Beauty Supply Store. It's um, the brand Broadway. This is just the mint oil one. I have all three of the different kinds they have, and I use this every single day when I want to go for like a clear gloss. So if you guys need a cheap lip gloss, go to the supply store in your town and get a couple of these because they're like a dollar. Literally a dollar, that's it. So now we are done with all my favorites. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys want any more in-depth information on each of the products, if you want me to put them on or, you know, do a review on any of the products, let me know. Comment down below. Also, don't forget to like and comment on this video. Don't forget to click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can see more videos coming. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.